What if I told you that your biological clock is ticking faster than it should and that you can slow it down? The secret lies in something called telomeres. I'm sure you heard about this before. Telomeres are the protective edges, the caps at the end of your DNA that actually establish the pace of aging, how fast you are aging. As we age, our telomeres get shortened and short and short over time, increasing our risk of diseases like heart disease, Alzheimer, and even cancer. But groundbreaking research by Elizabeth Blackburn, who won the Nobel Prize, reveals that we have more control over our aging process than we once thought. In this video, we will explore natural ways, science-backed strategies, that can slow down aging and the shortening of our telomeres so you can stay healthier, sharper, and more energized for years to come. So stick around because at the end I'll share things that you want to know about how to reverse the shortening of your telomeres. So how can we slow down our aging process? How can we make the telomeres long again? Is this reversible? So all of these questions are answered. And the good news is that yes, we can revert the shortening or attrition of our telomeres. Why this is important? Well, it's, it's because it's one of the hallmarks of aging. Aging is not just about time. It's about how our cells at a molecular level are functioning. A key factor is a telomere attrition, as I mentioned means the gradual shortening of those protective caps on our DNA. This is the second hallmark of aging that we are talking today. So when telomeres get shorter, the cell age faster, and this leads to diseases like diabetes or cognitive decline. But there's an exciting part. Your daily habits, lifestyle, what you eat, how you move, how we sleep, and even the way we think can slow down telomere loss and keep our body biological younger. So in order to understand the telomeres, let's talk a little bit, what are they? Where are they inside of the cells? So here's, you can see a cell. The telomeres are basically part of the structural um, chromosomes are inside the nucleus of your cells. So you can see here, this is a chromosome. So the telomeres are these parts at the edge. And these are the little portions that are getting shorter and shorter year after year. But science have proved that we can revert that and we can actually increase the length of our telomeres. Each time our cells replicate means divide, our telomeres are getting a little bit shorter. And when they become too short, then it's not compatible with life anymore. And then the cell cannot longer function anymore. So it becomes inactive or it dies. Why do we need to know about this? It's because there's a correlation between short telomeres and faster biological aging. And when we, when we age fast, we increase our chances to get chronic diseases and also get a weakened immune function. So let's start talking about the first thing we can do in order to reverse the length of our telomeres. Nutrition. Our diet directly affects the rate at which our telomeres are getting shorter. So processed food, like, you know, things that contain sugar, seed oils, trans fats, of course, speed up telomere loss. While whole food, nutrient-dense health foods help maintain telomere length. We need to focus on food that are rich in antioxidants, such as berries, nuts, green tea, and leafy greens to combat oxidative stress that damages our telomeres. Healthy fats, you find that on avocados, nuts, and olive oil, and provide and they provide essential nutrients for DNA protection. Omega-3 fatty acids. We have those in salmon, flaxseed, walnuts. These reduce inflammation and support telomere lengths. And then high fiber whole foods. So beans, legumes, and whole grain help lower inflammation and oxidative stress. What about exercise? 
Is there a connection between exercise, the type, the frequency of exercise and telomeres? Yes, we need to keep moving. So regular activity, about 30 minutes per day of a walk will make it, but we have to be moving all the time. You can do walking, cycling, swimming, strength training, lifting weights or resistant training, body weight exercises protect our telomeres by reducing inflammation. And then take breaks, avoiding sitting for so long. So start moving, even little stretching, even little movings or a little sequence of stretching poses or, or a walk during the day. Is very, very helpful. So regular exercise is one of the most powerful ways that we can use to slow our telomere shortening. Studies have shown that active individuals have longer telomeres than sedentary people. So the key is finding something that you like, something that you can do, you can have fun, you can enjoy, whether it's dancing, yoga, hiking, even walking your dog. Find something that you, so it's not the homework, but more like a opportunity to create joy in your life. How about sleep? The overlooked key to cellular longevity. Sleep is for restoration. So it's a crucial ingredient to revert telomere shortening. Quality rest means at least seven to nine hours of sleep in optimal conditions. Consistent schedule every day, aim to go to bed at the same time. DNA repair, we talked about this last time. Your body repairs DNA and protects telomeres while we sleep. And of course, and this is one of the most important things that I want to share with you today, stress reduction. So sleep help us with stress because it reduces st oxidative stress that accelerates telomere shortening. When we don't get enough sleep, our cells get more stress, and that accelerates telomere shortening. Creating a consistent bedtime routine is essential, like dimming the lights, avoid screens before bed. If, if you can do one of all of these, I would recommend stop electronics two hours before bedtime, if you can. Why? Because the light in your screens interferes with your natural ability to fall asleep and sustain good quality sleep. Now, let's talk a little bit more about stress and why mindset is important here. Because it's not about the stress, it's about the perception of stress. And let me tell you a little story that Elizabeth Blackburn discovered when she was doing her research on telomeres, she won the Nobel Prize because she found the telomerase, which is the enzyme responsible for extending the telomeres. And what she found is that people, the caregivers, the moms of children who needed special care, were very stressed. And when they were going through those stressful situations on taking care of their kids, they observed that these moms had shorter telomeres. Now, the interesting part of this experiment is that they observed longer telomeres in a group of those moms who had the same difficult situation in terms of taking care of kids who needed special attention. But because of their perception was different, they were not perceiving their challenges as stressful. They had longer telomeres. In other words, if we develop and train our mindset to find always a positive outcome out of whatever we're going through, then stress is not going to be impacting our aging as much. For example, when a group of janitors who were cleaning hospitals were asked, a group of them said, they were asked, how stressful is your job when you clean the bathrooms and the hospital places? One group of people said, it's very stressful. It's always dirty. It's really bad, but it pays my bill. So I'll keep doing it. The perception was that it was a stressful job. But then there was another group of janitors who said, well, I feel part of a group of people who provide a clean, safe environment for these sick people who need our support. 
when they perceive their job that was difficult and stressful in a way that provided meaning and purpose, the perception of the stress was different. So it's not about what is happening around us. It's about how we react to things that are happening. So here are a few strategies that we can use to keep our telomeres healthy. Reframing challenges as opportunities. You know, the sage perspective in positive intelligence say that you can turn into a gift anything, any challenge, any stressful situation that you go through can be turned into a gift or an opportunity. Another way is practicing gratitude every day to improve telomere health. Use meditation to increase telomerase activity. Find purpose in every day tasks. And then remain asking yourself, is there a way to see this situation differently? Is there a way that I can find joy? Is there a way that I can convert this into something positive? And here are the four pillars of telomere protection. Mindset is at the top because it's one of the most proven strategies that help you to increase the length of your telomeres. Sleeping, exercise, and nutrition. Aging is not just about how many birthday you had, how many years you lived on, plan on planet Earth. It's about how well your cells function over time. You could be 50 chronologically, but your biological age could be 65. So we have to make sure that our biological age is as low as possible. And that's what we can do improving our lifestyle by eating well, moving often, sleeping deeply, and shifting our mindset. We can certainly slow telomere loss and extend our health span. The true power of longevity is not fancy supplements, interventions, or getting the latest trend in biohacking. It's about your daily habits and how we choose to perceive our world. Again, the perception of what's going on. Your telomeres and your future self will thank you for the small changes that you make today. So here's your longevity action plan. I would say, choose one habit. Don't get overwhelmed. Just choose one. Start with just one little thing that promotes the length of your telomeres. It could be nutrition, it could be on sleep, it could be on stress management. You choose one and then commit for a week. Give yourself seven full days to try out that new habit and then track your progress. Notice how you feel as you implement this change in your daily life. And then once the week is over, add another habit. Introduce a new practice to slow the shortening of your telomeres and keep growing in healthy habits. Because by, by making these small changes today, you're giving your future self the gift of vitality, longevity, and you're getting rid of all those risks for chronic diseases. You're going to be inside a body that feels young no matter your age and that has vitality, energy. Remember that aging is optional, at least biologically. For more information on telomeres or you want to read more about this, go to my website, mariselrocha.com, and read the full blog post on telomeres and aging, Slow Down Your Cellular Clock Naturally. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Stay tuned because the next one is going to be also on another hallmark of aging. See you next time.